Hey there everybody, it's Cory the Yard Buddha and today I would like to take you through a unboxing and a review of this Ego 16 inch cordless chainsaw and just why I chose this and what it looks like outside the box, what it has in it and maybe a little performance test as well at the end. So. This is the 16 inch cordless chainsaw. I also looked at the, they've got a 14 inch and a 18 inch. And this is just kind of the middle one that there was only like a maybe 15, $20 price difference between the 14 and the 16. And I didn't need one as big as the 18. I'm just doing stuff around my house. And also I am doing stuff in some clients yards and some friends yards. And so I actually didn't even really need the battery on this one. This one does come with the five amp hour battery and the charger. Um, but I do already have the Ego Select Cut Mower here with a 10 amp hour battery. And so I was planning on just using that one initially and just buying the tool but I do need to work on a client's yard tomorrow. And this was the only one that I could get in time. I couldn't wait five, six days from Amazon to just get the tool. So I think it's gonna be okay. Hopefully this five amp hour battery is lighter because that 10 amp hour one is a beast. Um, it did come with that supercharger there. It's a 700 watt charger and it charges uh, that 10 amp hour in like 60 minutes or less. So it should probably charge this five amp hour one super fast. Um, brushless motor, and then it's got this cool weather resistant construction. And I chose Ego because they've been through quite a few models here now, and they've kind of found what works and what doesn't. They do offer a five year warranty on the chainsaw itself and I think a three year warranty on the batter, battery. So if we just look at the back, some specs real quick. It's got this chain kickback brake, which I'll show how that uses. Um, chain tensioning knob on the other side there is really easy to make your chain uh, tighter or looser. Uh, 16 inch uh, really good Oregon bar chain which that's a, a, a great brand and easy to replace and then this is where you put in your oil for the uh, or lubricant for the chain and you also have a window here that kind of shows you exactly how much lubricant you have left and then the best part is this high efficiency brushless motor so no gas, no oil in there at all needed. And, uh, it's going to be very quiet. And then this battery is really powerful. I mean, this was one of their, you know, top ones before they came out with the the 10 amp hour one over there. Um, and they do offer a three year on that. So I may just uh, play around with that. And it's always kind of nice to have an extra battery if you're working on people's yards you never know how big a yard they're gonna have or how much stuff you're gonna do so let's get this thing unboxed and see what things look like all right straight out of the box here we got our chainsaw looking nice and pretty we got our five amp hour 56 volt lithium ion battery we got the charger we got our pamphlets here and then just take a look at this we got our brand new shiny clean 16 inch bar this is where you're gonna put your lubricant in there I think it said it holds about five ounces or so enough to get you through a while and then this is the stop guard right here so the chain will not run if you have this in forward position 
this lock position and then when you slide it back there then you press the trigger and it will run and on the other side we have our chain tensioning guide here and I think you need to open this a little bit first and then roll this to the right to tighten it roll this to the left loosen it and it's as easy as that so right now I'm going to try to hook my 10 volt or 10 amp hour battery onto this and just test it out after I get it filled up with a little bit of bar lubricant. I actually learned that you can use just vegetable oil, canola oil in there instead of uh, regular like petroleum based bar lubricant. So after I, I have got a still got a bin of it right here, I'm going to use that up. But after I use that up, I am going to use canola oil and try that out. But I'll fill that up and plug in this 10 amp hour battery and show you what it sounds like. All right, so I filled this up with oil and or at least lubricant and I put on my 10 amp hour battery, the big one on the right and everything I weighed it with this kind of fish hook scale and it weighed about 16.6 pounds and then I put on the 5 amp hour battery that came with it and it was about 3 pounds less so it was about 13.8 13.7 pounds so I think I'm going to keep both of these maybe one kind of for heavier work if I'm doing rounds and doing a whole lot of just time on a log and then the lighter one I can go up on a ladder a little bit easier maybe use it with one hand or just do some limbing and and maybe light lighter tree work so I mean this one's for my mower anyway so I'm keeping that but I think I do want to have a lighter battery just for lighter work so Tomorrow, we're going to get to work and I'll show you what this sounds like and how it performs. So see you then. Okay, this is our first test with the uh, Ego. Listen to it. That's all I have to say. Thank you. All right. So we wanted to get a piece of this log here because it looks like a smiley face with two eyes and a tongue and a smiley face. So we're gonna cut off a five inch round. side. Oh yeah. Let me show you. Smiley. All right. So to sum up, this is the best. The ego is just butter. I mean, going through wood and stuff. I owned a steel 
couple steel chainsaws before and having to deal with the carburetors and oil and gas and all that stuff is a joke and so this guy here puts out so much torque it just rips through stuff so I loved it absolutely loved it and this battery here too had no problem lasting at least a couple hours with some of the projects that I've had so it's a 5 amp hour one and I think the whole thing weighs about a 13 and a half pounds or something so go for it buy it do it you'll like it thanks for watching please subscribe got an airplane coming over that's the Arbuta video we'll see you later